Mikey, I got a big one here. Hey everybody. We are back and we have some exciting new series coming up, some feature videos about wildlife that you might come across in some of your parks here in Chesapeake. So when you're out and about exploring, we want you to know how to be safe if you do happen to come across wildlife. We're gonna start the video series off with our park manager, Kevin Call. And he's gonna be telling us a little bit more about snake safety. Hi, I'm Kevin Call, I'm the parks manager with the city of Chesapeake and we're out here today on this beautiful day at Northwest River Park in the Hickory section of Chesapeake and we're going to talk to you a little bit about snakes right now. During this COVID season, people are all about getting out into the parks. And so one of the questions that we frequently are coming across is what to do if you find a snake. So first of all, I want you to let you know that we have over 30 species of snakes in Chesapeake, but only three of them are venomous. We don't have any poisonous snakes. People frequently make that misconnection between poisonous and snakes, but they're actually venomous. Venom is anything that's injected into you whereas poison is anything you ingest. So our snakes are venomous, there's only three, and it's very rare that you're gonna find them. In this park, I've been, worked here for 15 years, and I've only seen one person bitten by a snake, and that's because they were playing with the snake. So, if you see a snake, leave it alone, it'll leave you alone. Remember that out of all the snakes we have, only a few are venomous. One way you can tell our snakes, uh, our venomous snakes apart from our non-venomous snakes, is look at their eyes. So this one has round eyes. All three of our venomous snakes, the cottonmouth, the copperhead, and the canebrake rattlesnake, which is an endangered species. So we're, we, we consider ourselves lucky if we even see one of those. But all three of those have vertical cat-like pupils, whereas the rest of our non-venomous snakes all have round pupils. That's a quick indicator for you. So, But regardless, if you're not sure of the snake, leave it alone. And we have plenty of friendly snakes, like this snake right here. This is a rough green snake. This is one of the small snakes that we have. That it's insectivorous, so it's going to just eat bugs all day long, and that's all it wants to do. It wants to be left alone and just sit and eat bugs. And another thing to remember about snakes is that they are a great part of the ecosystem. They're going to take care of our rats and mice and rodent problems and other things that we might not want in the parks or in your house, so they're great to have around. Remember, you can't take our snakes home with you. You can't injure them, even if it is a venomous snake. Leave it alone, that's all you have to do. A lot of people ask, what do you do if you get bitten by a snake? Well, again, keep in mind that we have three venomous snakes and a lot of non-venomous snakes. So the chances are you're not bitten by a venomous snake. And the second thing is, if you get bitten by a snake, it might be helpful if you can, if you can, take a picture of the snakes, call 911, take care of yourself, let them figure it out for you. Don't be an expert, let the experts help you. And then you also want to try to capture the snake and milk the venom out into your uh, Yeti cup. One more piece of information I want to share with you that's really a, a valuable resource is the Department of Game and Inf Inland Fisheries does a snake guide. You can go on their website and get a copy of this. It lists all of our snakes, it lists how to identify them. It's a great piece of information with full color pictures, and uh, identifying marks and, and lots of information about the snake. So I highly recommend this 